The P.P. Simmons channel has been personally assured by the Sheriff Arpaio investigation of Obama's true identity and constitutional qualifications that the investigation and possible prosecution is going full steam ahead. There are no plans to discontinue the investigation, and in fact, we are being told that they are actually ratcheting up the investigation now that Obama appears to be going back into office. For all the doubters of this issue out there, we have some challenges for you to consider. First, let me say this. I am a birther. I am proud to be one. All that word means is that I want to know the birthplace of the man who is in the White House and commander-in-chief of America's military. By the way, the Constitution backs me on my desire to know this information, so the Constitution is a birther document. I think less of people who claim that they don't care about this issue. You are simply proving something very telling and very disturbing when you make that claim. Some might call me a conspiracy theorist. Let me remind you that almost all crime starts with a conspiracy. I spent 10 years in the field of Florida law enforcement, some of that time as a deputy sheriff with two different sheriff's offices, and some of that time doing my own criminal investigation procedures. Good investigation, I know, includes developing theories about possible conspiracies to commit crimes. Once the theory leads you to evidence, hard, factual, provable evidence, the crime moves from conspiracy theory to criminal reality. And that is where we are right now with Obama and the supposed birth certificate that he personally presented to the world back in June of 2011. That birth certificate has been proven by a year-long criminal investigation employing six criminal investigators, three of whom are criminal attorneys, two of whom are outspoken Obama supporters at the outset. It was further proven by the investigation of two independent forensics labs and a bevy of digital document experts and a lengthy investigation trip to Hawaii by members of the investigation team. The birth certificate document presented by Obama, they all testify, is 100% indisputably, undeniably a forgery and a fraud. Now consider this, if Arpaio's investigation, which has proven that a felonious crime has been committed and that to date Obama has never offered to anyone anywhere at any time a legally verifiable birth certificate, if Arpaio's investigation is false, if, it's, if it is tainted, if it is sloppy or merely vindictive, why has not a single media outlet in the nation attempted to prove any of that against Arpaio? even the ones that are obviously in the tank for Obama. Why has no one investigated the investigation of Sheriff Arpaio's team? I submit to you it's because they do not wish to do so, because they know it is 100% correct. Even if it was only 90% correct, the media would still expose the 10% falsehood, and then they would hound that into the ground. But the media remains strangely silent on Arpaio's investigation. Very telling, isn't it? Here's another challenge. If you're a doubter and you firmly believe that Obama is a U.S. citizen, please present us with 100% legally verifiable proof that he is a U.S. citizen. If you can, you will be the first and only person able to do so. I've been offering this challenge now for months on my nationally listened to radio program, and not a single person has been able to take me up on it. The fact is that there is more 100% legally verifiable evidence to date that Obama is not even a U.S. citizen than there is that he is a U.S. citizen at all, much less natural born. Consider this. If Obama is not even a citizen, that means that the U.S. military and the economy may be under the control of a non-citizen, perhaps, perhaps even a foreign usurper who gained the office through fraud, deceit, and criminal conspiracy. Why will Congress, the courts, the media not touch this? General Paul Vallelay gave us a hint about a year ago when he went on a national talk show circuit and insisted that he knew for a fact that the FBI and key members of Congress knew that Obama was a fraud. But they were not acting upon it because they were afraid of national backlash. Certainly fear is one factor. There are others, of course, but calling the investigation names or ignoring it or making fun of it or the people who are concerned about this does not do away with the evidence. 
And so what is the evidence? The fact is that there is more 100% legally verifiable evidence to date that Obama is not even a U.S. citizen than there is that he is a citizen. And not a single media source has even attempted to investigate Arpaio's investigation to prove him wrong. Think of it. We may, I say may, very well have a non-citizen as commander-in-chief of the world's number one superpower and the world's number one economy. That would certainly explain a lot of things, wouldn't it? Stay tuned to P.P. Simmons for all the latest developments and upcoming announcements in this monumentally important constitutional case.